Bob Barker saying good night. Hey, everybody! Christina, be a pal. Loan me a hundred the next week. Okay, make it 50 off Friday. Okay, make it 20. I'll pay it back in an hour. Cut. Don't you love it when they beg? Watch Diamonds on USA. Sunday's at 10. Mine I'm Central. On I'm on my knee. This is a USA update with Beverly Williams. Good afternoon. In entertainment news, rocker Billy Joel is in good condition at a New York City hospital where he is being treated for kidney stones. The singer collapsed while en route to Europe to promote his new album. And Michael Douglas's new movie, Black Rain, was number one at the box office this past weekend. Sea of Love, starring Al Pacino, was second. What show has the passion of Dallas? I've given you enough jokes, yes, John. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Leave me alone. The drama of St. Elsewhere. I think you I... got that thing too tight around your head. <laughs> These great prizes and that incredible host, there's only one answer. I agree. The Hollywood Squares. Then, has life become unmanageable? Now that I've totally lost control of my own program. Are you a TV junkie? It was frightening. Don't worry, there is help. Couch Potatoes on USA, coming up next. For USA Update, I'm Beverly Williams. You're watching USA, America's favorite cable network. From the heat of the San Fernando Valley, from the air-conditioned comfort of Stage 37, and from the center of Wednesday, it's Jim J. Bullock. From the Late Show, Ross Schaefer. And from the comedy stage, Michael Winslow. And from the top of the charts, Glenn Campbell. And from newspapers nationwide, it's Dr. Joyce Brothers. From international glamour, Princess Zsa Zsa Gabor. And from Police Academy 5, it's Leslie Easterbrook. From the Hogan family, Edie McClure. And me from New York Morning Radio, 92.3 K-Rock, it's Howard Stern. still here and it's Wednesday and John is out uh, singing I don't know and uh, Joan is out thespying and they'll both be back here next week in the meantime let's meet our contestants on my right is Todd Todd tell the star something about yourself well I live in Pasadena California I have a lovely wife Mary and we have a three-month-old baby Christina Bravo. Todd Geyer and on my left is Catherine Frailing. Catherine, tell us something about yourself. Well, I live in Woodland Hills, and I enjoy most water sports. Well, the object of the game is simply to win tic-tac-toe, three squares across, down or diagonally, or to acquire the most squares you can. Our first two games are worth $500 each. After that, each game will be worth $1,000. And whoever wins the most money at the end of the show, well, they'll have a chance to drive away in one of these beautiful Buicks. Yeah. You know, as always, our challenger starts. Now remember, the way you earn a square is by determining if the celebrity is giving a correct answer. <laughs> it's that simple. Todd, pick a square. Jim J. Bullock, please. Jim J. Bullock! Hi, Todd. Hello. Hi, Jim. Jim. Hello. True or false, huh? Okay. Studies at the University of Maryland have shown laughter to be a pretty good laxative. <laughs> you know, when you think of Jim Bullock, you, rational isn't the word that it's comes okay, to mind. It's okay, I'm wearing depends. Um, I would say that, um... <laughs> uh, okay, let's start from the top. Laughter has been shown to be a pretty good laxative. True or false? It's kooky enough that I would say it's true. Okay, Todd, do you agree? Go out on a limb with me, Todd, would you? I'm gonna agree. 
Lucky you, it's true. It stimulates the digestive tract, exits the square. Catherine, pick a square. Ross Schaefer, please. Ross Catherine. Schaefer. Hello, thank you. Okay, Ross. All right, let's see if you can answer one, okay? All right. <laughs> a small five-inch statuette entitled The Spirit of Ecstasy can be found mounted on the front of one of the most expensive items in the world. What is it? Wait, wait is it, it's a little statue? A little five-inch statuette entitled The Spirit of Ecstasy. And it's mounted on one of the most expensive items um, in the world. I'm going to say Bridget Nielsen. No. <laughs> What, is she here? <laughs> um, it's got to be, um, it's got to be maybe a ship or something. I will say, I will say the Queen Elizabeth II. The Queen Elizabeth II. Catherine, do you agree? I'll agree. Well, I'm so sorry. It's a Rolls Royce, and it's its official name. The Spirit of Ecstasy. <laughs> hey, Winslow, Todd. Michael please. Michael Winslow. Hi. Yeah. Hi, everybody. For the win. <laughs> According to the Almanac of Presidential Facts, what is Ronald Reagan's favorite mixed drink? A screwdriver, a martini, or a white Russian? I thought it was a screwdriver because it cost me $567. That's Johnny Carson's joke. <laughs> if it was the caucus, I would have to agree. It had to be a screwdriver. Okay, we're going to go with a screwdriver for the win. Todd? I'm going to disagree. Todd, I'm sorry, it's a screwdriver. Circle gets the square. Catherine, pick a square. Glenn Campbell, please. Glenn Campbell. Thank Hi, you. Glenn. Yes, sir. According to the IRS, how often do they admit they make mistakes on questions about your tax returns? 10% of the time, 20% of the time, or 40% of the time? Never. Oh, well, in my case, they don't miss a penny. Among that and others. I would say that's a that's a loaded question. I would say that it should be around ten to fifteen percent that they would they would admit, I would think. Ten to fifteen percent, Catherine, do you agree? I'll agree. Well, they say they give wrong answers almost forty percent of the time. Whoa. X gets the square. Time pick a square. Dr. Joyce Brothers for the win. Dr. Joyce Brothers for the win. Well, Joyce, child psychologists use a test called Draw a Man when working with children. On your desk are three drawings made by three of our squares. Take a look now, huh? One was drawn by little Jimmy Bullock, one by Rossi Schaefer, and one by Howie Stern. Which one do you think is Jim Bullock's drawing, A, B, or C? Well, you know, Shadow, that this is a child's test, and I don't know too much about the childhood of these three young men. I do know that they said that uh, Howard would go very far because they chased him, uh, <laughs> and, and uh, that J.J. Bullock was the only man to be punched in the nose um, uh, by okay. Dale Carnegie. Uh, <laughs> but I would say that this was J.J. Bullock. You say that C is Jim J. Bullock's. Well, Todd, do you agree? I'm going to agree. Well, you're right. The drawing is C, Jim Bullock. B is Ross, A is Howard, $500. Whoa, our secret square game is next. Don't go away, huh? Don't go away. Don't you go away. This USA Network program is brought to you by Endust for everyday dusting and cleaning of fine furniture without wax buildup. On USA, Sunday at 8, live Eastern. Aha! Game number two is always our secret square game, and the player that chooses that square could win this. Howard! Shadow, it's a home entertainment system. Emerson's state-of-the-art VHSC video camcorder features a manual zoom lens with automatic focus and one-touch, one-button recording design for sharp, easy home videos. And Emerson's innovative remote control VHS video cassette recorder features digital special effects. Eight event, 21-day programmability, and 110-channel cable capability. This is like a reading test, Shadow, both furnished by Emerson and Roy Hill's corner unit with tambour sliding doors. It's constructed of oak solids and oak veneers. It's great for organizing video and electronic equipment in your home, furnished by Broyhill. Shadow. Hey, Howard, let's reveal our secret square to our home audience only. 
Catherine Baker Square. Leslie Easterbrook. Ah. Leslie Easterbrook. Ah. Hi, Leslie. So good to see you again. Yes, thank you. Let's have a question, shall we? Mm, yes, Leslie. Now, in Roman numerals, what is D? What is D? What is D? Cleopatra's bra size. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, huh? <laughs> Roman numerals, this should be easy. D is 50. D is 50, says Leslie. Do you agree, Catherine? I agree. D is a symbol for 500. I'm so sorry. Oh. X gets oh. the square tie. Dr. Joyce Brothers, please. Dr. Joyce Brothers. <laughs> Dr. B. Elizabeth Taylor won two Oscars. One was for Butterfield 8 in 1960. What movie was the other Oscar for? Most marriages in the 10-year period. <laughs> or was that Zsa Zsa? Oh. Elizabeth Taylor won two Oscars. One was for Butterfield 8 in 1960. What movie was the other Oscar for? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Todd, do you agree? I'm going to disagree. He's going to oh. disagree, but the answer is... Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Circle gets the square, and we're back to Catherine. Jim J. Bullock? Jim J. Bullock! Oh, Catherine! <laughs> hey, Jim. Uh, yes? Wow! It's just like Halloween! Jason's back. It's just about fall, and we all know what happens in the fall. Ha-ha. <laughs> well, grab one of those leaves and examine it as I hand one to our contestant. <laughs> now, is that leaf from a maple tree, an elm tree, or an oak tree? They're so dry. We put hand lotion on this leaf, and on this one, um... I would say that this is not a maple. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not a maple. It ain't a maple. You can go with me on that. Uh, I'm going to tell you what else it ain't. Yeah. Okay, you with me Let's so far? Let's go with an answer then. Uh, uh, the other two were uh, elm and what? Coconut? It's a maple tree. An elm tree or an oak tree. It's not maple and it's not oak. I think it's an elm. I sure hope so. Boy. She agrees, and you're both wrong. What? It's an oak tree leaf. I'm so sorry. X gets the square. Todd, pick a square. Princess Jaja. Princess Jaja Gabor. <laughs> for the win. This is for the win. Now let it throw you. Who authored the phrase, all men are created equal? Who said that? Yes. I did not. <laughs> I think it was Abraham Lincoln, if I learned my English, I mean my American citizenship well enough. Well, the princess says Abe Lincoln. What do you think, Todd? I'm going to agree. Well, I'm sorry for you both. It's Thomas Jefferson. Is that the same? <laughs> Looks like the Circle gets the square on that one, and we're back to Catherine Pickett Square. Glenn Campbell, please. Glenn Campbell! Yeah! <laughs> well, now, Glenn. Get shadow. Catch, sloop, and y'all are all types of what? I would say them with southern greetings, but uh, <laughs> I recognize <laughs> I recognize I the I had tree you're blooming very well. <laughs> no, I didn't recognize the other two, but y'all is definitely. I would say that it's uh, seals. Seals. Okay, Catherine, you think? I that, disagree. You disagree. Well, good. It's <laughs> sailboats. <laughs> Circle square. Yeah, Todd, pick a square. Michael Winslow. Michael Winslow! Ah! You're the secret square! Whoa! The time has come! The time has come! For the secret square! And I'm squarely on the common ground! I'll never give Jim J. Bullock X Factor again! Yeah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise Michael! Well, now. According to timetables of history, what was the top headline in 1788, 200 years ago? Austria declares war on Turkey, Germany declares war on France, or Poland declares war on Russia? 
<laughs> Let's find out. Time to Peter. Operational. Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Winslow. It, it had to, I think actually it had to have been uh, turkey because that seems to make sense to me. I don't want. Okay, okay now. Austria declares war on Turkey. Is what you're saying? I'm going to agree. You're going to agree. Well, good, because you got it. Lordy, for the block. Oh, yes, at Home Entertainment System. I am so excited for you and yours. Now, Catherine, pick a square. Ross Schaefer, please. Ross Schaefer. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to let you down this time, Catherine. Mm -hmm. According to the Emily Post etiquette book, should a lady tell a male co-worker that his fly is open? <laughs> uh. Uh, well, that is an icebreaker, uh, but... <laughs> uh, no, 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 you shouldn't. That's, uh, that's, that's too personal. I think that... No, no, you okay, should never... Just, no, Let no. somebody else do that. Let somebody else do that. No. For the block. No. What do you think? I agree. No. no. Yes, she should. She so. should? Well, you know, you can't put an X there. You have to earn it yourself. So we go over to Todd. Pick a square. <laughs> Ross Schaefer for the win. Oh, Ross for the win. Schaefer for the win! For the win. <laughs> Okay, Todd, let's get All the right, win. Ross. When the blood vessels in the legs weaken, spider veins can form. Can spider veins be reversed by exercise? Can spider veins... Would that be the same as varicose veins? Is that similar? These are spider veins. Spider veins. Can it be re reversed? Spider veins. I, w I would say that... <laughs> Does somebody know about spider veins? Let me, let me see yours. Um, I, I would think that with exercise you could probably... And diet, you could open up your veins, and boy, I, I, I would, I would say um, exercise would not reduce them. No, I don't think so. He says no. He says no. What do you think, Todd? I'm going to agree. Well, gosh, that's too bad. Oh. Yes, any exercise that pumps blood back into circulation, biking is best. Whoa. Circle got that square. I tell you, Catherine, pick a square. Edie McClurg, please. Edie McClurg. Edie. For the win, according to the L.A. Times, if you want to save on calories in a recipe that calls for sour cream, you should substitute what? Shaving cream. <laughs> Wouldn't that do it? It would add volume and also me. clean you out on the way through. <laughs> anyway, uh, actually what you would do is you would take your cottage cheese and you would take out the moisture and then you would whip it up and it would be a good substitute for sour cream, so I'm told. Cottage cheese, you say? Mm -hmm. I disagree. You disagree? Well, good for you, because it's yogurt. Yogurt! We have a tie game, and we'll be right back. Just a few short weeks, we'll be going to Club Med Paradise Island in the Bahamas for two full weeks of shows. So if you're planning a vacation, hopefully we'll see you at Club Med. Wow. Now, in case we don't get to complete our last game, a horn will sound. And we'll add up all of our scores for X's and O's. Each will be worth $200. Pick a square, Todd. Jim J. Bullock, please. Jim oh, J. Todd. Bullock. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Where, Jimmy? Hey, yeah. Finish this little classic. There was a little girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. And when she was good, she was very, very good. But when she was bad, she was... what? Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. When she was bad, she was... Nasty. Or right. Janet. Uh, excuse me? Oh, oh, that's our horn. It'll be our last question. I'm feeling a little nervous. What do you think, Todd? I'm going to disagree. 
You're going to disagree? Well, good. The answer is horrid. X gets the square. Congratulations to our winner, Todd Geyer. Catherine, you played a great game. Thanks for being with us. Mm -mm -mm. You'll be taking home a total of $2,200 in cold, hard Hollywood Squares cash. <laughs> our cash <laughs> to our winner, Todd. Well, hey, you won $700 today in cold, hard Hollywood Squares cash. And the chance to drive away in a beautiful Buick. Which one will it be? The Skyhawk. The Skylark Blue. Today, the Sabre. What would it be, Todd? <laughs> the Sabre. The Le Sabre. Well, one of our nine celebrities has a key where we'll stop at Le Sabre. Who are you going to choose? Look at those keys. Jim J. Boy. Jim J. Boy. Okay, Jim J. And the key to the Le Sabre. We'll be right back. Bullock as his key celebrity and Leslie Easterbrook as his good luck celebrity and these beautiful Le Sabre. Tell us about it, Howard. Thank you, Shadala. The Buick Le Sabre is a contemporary aerodynamic automobile with six passenger comfort and a vacation sized trunk. It's a great American family car, Le Sabre, furnished by Buick. Shadow? Yes, the Le Sabre's worth $17,160. Good luck on the count of three. We'll give it a try. Help me out here. One, two, $700. You can come back tomorrow and win as much money as you want. Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow. Some of our departing contestants will receive the following. Gatano is always on the cutting edge of fashion and design, offering up to the minute styling and exceptional quality. Gatano and Miss Lee. Smaller size Lee press on nails in teen and preteen fun colors. Miss Lee press on nails and Aura Fix. Special denture adhesive. Worried about loose dentures? Aura Fix. Holds them tight day and night. Aura Fix them. That'll fix them. And Molita Coffee Makers. They give you more rich flavor from every scoop of coffee. To coffee lovers, Molita means everything. <laughs> everything. If you're a TV junkie, USA's got just the treat for you. Couch Potatoes. Next. Center Square, it's Jim J. Bullard. From Fox's Late Show, it's Ross Schaefer. And from Impressionistic Comedy, Michael Winslow. From Country Music Fan, Glenn Campbell. From her syndicated column, Dr. Joyce Brothers. From Glamour and the Screen, Princess Zaja Gabor. From the Police Academy movies, Leslie Easterbrook. From the Hogan family, Edie McClure. Shadow Stevens, illegitimate son, Howard Stern. And we are the new Hollywood Square. And here he is from square number two, host on the Shadow Stevens. Hey! Oh, great.
please, please. No, 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 no more, no more. Five <laughs> stars. Hello, Seattle. Hi, John Davidson. Wherever you are, I'm getting pretty used to this. Uh -huh. Both John and Joan Rivers will be back on Monday. But in the meantime, let's meet our contestants. This is Corin. Tell the stars something about yourself, Corin. Hi, I'm from Santa Barbara, California, and I'm an emergency medical technician. Corin Endersby. And once again, Todd is with us. Todd Dyer, tell the stars something about yourself this time. Well, I was born in New York, I grew up in Houston, and I've lived in California for about nine years. All right. I got it. Now, the object of the game is simply to win tic-tac-toe three squares across, down, or diagonally, or to acquire the most squares you can. Our first two games are worth $500 each, and after that, each game will be worth $1,000. And whoever wins the most money at the end of the show, well, they'll win. A, they'll have a chance to drive away in one of these beautiful Buicks. Ooh. Wow. As always, our challenger starts. Remember, the way to earn a square is by determining if the celebrity is giving a correct answer. Pick a square, Corin. Uh, Jim J. Bullock, please. Jim J. Oh, Bullock. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, 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 oh, oh. Boy, you look masculine today, Jim. Let's go get a brew. All right. Okay, Jim, on your desk, there are three football helmets belonging to NFL teams. Your question is about the symbols on them. Hold up the silver and black one. Hold up the silver and black one. Yes, that symbol belongs to the L.A. Raiders. The orange and blue one belongs to the Denver Broncos. But what team wears the green and silver helmet? <laughs> <laughs> the things you can do with a chin strap. Jim, Jim, <laughs> who is for the green and silver? Welcome to our planet. I should, go, I, should, I should give you my answer. Sure. Here. Three doors down. Oh, I can't do that. Oh. Um, um, I think that it's going to be the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks, uh huh. So, Corin, he says Seattle Seahawks. What do you think? You agree or disagree? I'll agree. You agree. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, Corin. The marking on the helmet represents wings, and the team is the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh. Exit the square. Todd Dyer, pick a square. Dr. Joyce Brothers, please. Dr. Joyce. It's okay, Dr. B. So, where do they use the terms end around and down and out? In divorce court. <laughs> No, really. Um, in wrestling. In wrestling. Todd, she says in wrestling, you agree? I'm going to disagree. Well, you're right. In football. Those are the names of the plays. X gets the square. Time to the square. Glenn Campbell, please. Glenn Campbell. Thank you. Glenn's new album is on MCA called Light Years, right? Yes. Jimmy Webb, great writer. Uh, great. Now, Glenn... Yes. Out of the five tallest skyscrapers in the world, three are found in one city. What city is it? Delight, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest thing we got there is two stories, Shadow, actually. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but trust me on this one. I've been there. There's uh, New York. There's uh, other places. But I tell you, Chicago, Illinois has the tallest skyscrapers I have ever seen. All right, he says, Glenn says, for the block, Chicago. Corin, do you agree? I'll agree. She agrees. Good and she's you. right. Oh, Circle gets a score to Chicago. New York is second with two. All right, Todd, you got your work cut out for you, babe. Michael Winslow. Michael Winslow. Yes. 
Yeah. Well, good day, mate. Hello, crocodile on day. So nice to see you, mate. <laughs> now you know why Australians have to do that. Their lips are just stressed out of shape. <laughs> Mike Shaw, mate. <laughs> Hello, my name's Jim J. Bullock. Mine now. <laughs> Me bloody mouth is still stressed out of shape. I don't need any better. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Michael, about this question. Can you make an elephant jump? Oh, sure, mate. Just depends on what kind of stimulus you got. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. uh, as a matter of fact, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Hey, look, Republicans jump all the time. <laughs> Michael says, yes, you can, Todd. <laughs> you agree? I'm going to agree. He agrees. Well, no. It can't jump because of its great weight and the structure of its legs. Circle hits the square. Oh, Corin. It's okay. You can Pick do Jeopardy, brother. Princess Jaja, please. Princess Jaja. <laughs> For the win. Princess, according to Miss Manners, these are three important ingredients to every date. Affection, entertainment, and what else? Entertainment, affection, and what? Who is Miss Manners, by the way? Oh, very famous. Very I famous. never heard of her. Oh, you haven't? Everybody, how many's heard of Miss Manners? Yeah. Hey! All right, so you... I'm sorry. Very famous. The most important ingredients today? But yes. But you forgot the most important one, sex. Ooh. So she says sex. Are you going with that? We're going with sex? Sure, I we disagree. are. disagree. Okay, uh, she disagrees. Good, it's food. <laughs> Circle gets the third. Oh, what a time. Oh, Our secret square game is next. Don't go away. Number two is always our secret square game, and the player who chooses that square could win this. Howard. Chat Rock, it's a trip to Mexico City. You may enjoy Mexicana's world-class golden Aztec service on your trip to Enchanting Mexico, furnished by Mexicana Airlines. And for six nights and seven days, the best of shopping and sightseeing may be yours at the world-famous Camino Real, a resort-like hotel in Mexico City, furnished by Western Hotels. Shadow. Thank you, Howard Stern. Let's reveal our secret square to our home audience only. Okay, Todd, pick a square. Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell! <laughs> nice little question for you, real simple. Does a frog have teeth? Does a chicken have lips? <laughs> Does a frog have teeth? I, I would say no, because I used to... My dad done a lot of fishing, and, uh, you know, the frogs, they got a big, long tongue they can reach out and zap things with, so they really don't need to swallow it. So I would say, if I had to do it logically, I would say, no, a frog does not have teeth. Huh. Well, Todd, he says, no, a frog does not have teeth. What do you think? I'm going to agree. He agrees. Well, yes. They have teeth, but they use them they just do. to hold food, not to chew. I'm so sorry. Uh, Circle gets a square on that. Well, I never I saw one. Work. I never saw a frog chewing in my life. That's why I said. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Corin, pick a square. Michael Winslow, please. Michael Winslow. <laughs> okay, Michael. Hey, in a 21 gun salute, are the rifles fired simultaneously? Well, I would certainly hope so. <laughs> we wouldn't want any cheap shots, would we? <laughs> Robbie! Not now, Nancy. <laughs> well, I would assume... Well, no. No, uh, I don't believe so. Okay, Michael says no. Uh, what do you think, Corin? I'll agree. Well, no, you're right. And Circle gets a square. It's one gun. Pause. Seven guns. Pause, seven guns, pause, six guns, spelled out, it's 1776. Get it? 1776? Anyone? Thank you. Thank you very much. Todd, pick a square. Uh, Princess Zsa for the Princess Zsa Zsa. Well done, Lock. Fair Princess, if you suffered from a condition known if as... If I did what? If I do what? If you suffer... From a suffer. condition known as somnambulism, what would your problem be? Oh, it would be a big problem. Wouldn't have paid my taxes. <laughs> it would be because if you're a somnambulist, then you cannot sleep well. And if you don't sleep well, that means because you can get too much taxes. 
Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have. So what is that one answer that we're kind of driving at here? It means when you are so nonbulist, which is a horribly difficult word to say for a Hungarian, sure. then you do not sleep well. You don't sleep. Okay, you don't sleep well. Todd, what do you think? I'm going to disagree. Oh, you disagree for good view. It's sleepwalking. Ah. Sleepwalking. No. Let's get the square. Come and pick a square. Ross Schaefer, please. Ross Schaefer. Ross. There we go. There we go. We're off and running now, Ross. Now we're gone. Yeah. In the War of 1812, 15 days before the Battle of New Orleans, something extremely important happened. What was it? Ronald Reagan was born. Something in the War of 1812, 15 days before it happened, something... Before the Battle of New Orleans, something extremely important happened. Oh, what oh was I do it? know that. Oh, I do know that. That was, um, there was an assassination. It was, um, it was a president. President, uh, not Madison. President Madison's assassination. President Madison's yeah. assassination. Corin, do you agree or disagree? I'll disagree. Good. The war ended. Due to poor communications, no one knew it. Huh. What you don't learn here, huh? Todd, pick a square. Uh, Leslie Easterbrook, please. Leslie yeah, Easterbrook. Here, 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 here. Hey. Kind of nervous, are we? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Leslie, we have a musical question for you. Listen as our musical director, Stormy Sachs, plays a figure as it would sound on the harp. No. Very nice. Yes. Now, is that a tremolo, a trill, or a glissando? Tremolo, trill, or glissando? Well, a trill is like. Yes. Ooh. I. I. <laughs> um, a tremolo is a little slower version, like <laughs> this has to be a glissando. Oh. Glissando, okay. Glissando. Well, Todd, what do you think? She says oh. glissando. I'm gonna agree. Gonna agree. Well, let's go back to Stormy Sachs for the answer. What is it, Stormy? Well, Shadow, she's absolutely right. It is a glissando. <laughs> The action is hot and heavy now. Corin, pick a square. Edie McClure, please. Edie McClure. Yeah. All right, for the win. True or false, when Paul Revere made his famous ride, he had to borrow a horse. That's true. He just dropped off the car at Tune Up Masters. <laughs> and Annie Granatelli was going to take care of him. He was dipping his screwdriver in the oil and he just couldn't pick it up. So it's absolutely <laughs> Believe me on this. Really? It's absolutely there. true. He did have to borrow a horse. It's absolutely true it's for the win. Corin, do you agree or disagree? I'll agree. She agrees. Well, good. And it's true. <laughs> Our next game is worth $1,000. Stay with us. We'll be right back. In case we don't get to complete our last game, a horn will sound. And we'll add up our scores. Each X and O will be worth $200. Okay, Todd, pick a square. Jim J. Bullock. Jim J. Bullock. Oh, now, Jim, on your desk, this time, is a single football helmet. It represents the only team in the NFL that does not have a symbol on its helmet. Name that team. The nobodies. <laughs> uh, well, I think it's. Oh yeah, that's good. UT. Does that do professional? Are we talking professional or college? <laughs> Am I going out of line here asking these questions? Answer the question, Jim. I can't help you. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Then I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not going to answer until I find out if it's professional or not. <laughs> 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 we'll 
just wait then. Okay, do you agree or disagree, Todd? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll give it a shot. I would say UT, but I think UT has an, an OU has an OU thing on it. So I'm going to go professional and say the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know. All right, that darling Jim J. Bullock says Pittsburgh Steelers. What do you think, Todd? I disagree. Good. <laughs> Why, it's the Cleveland Browns at Central Square. Corn and Pick a Square. Dr. Joyce Brothers, please. Dr. Joyce Brothers! <laughs> okay, JB. What famous organization has the motto, Maintain the Right? The Morton Do Downey Jr. Fan Club. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the National Guard. The National Guard. Corn, she says the National Guard. Do you agree or disagree? I'll disagree. Good. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Circle gets the square. Okay, Todd. The press is building. Ross Schaefer, please. Ross Schaefer. Okay. <laughs> All right, Todd, let's do it. Okay, say Ross. If you have ergophobia, are you afraid of wine work or short people? Am I, am I, I'm sorry, I didn't get all that. Am I afraid of what? Wine work or short people if you have ergophobia? I'm afraid of working with uh, short winos. I know. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, um, you have ergophobia. And I, is that a true or false? No, no. Wine work or short people? I, ergophobia. <laughs> Boy, I, I'm going to have to say that uh, that it's work. That it's work. You just don't. You don't like to work. Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! Feel the pressure now. That's our horn. That's our last question. He says work. work. Yeah. What do you think, Todd? I agree. He agrees. Well, good, because it's work. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and let me congratulate our winner, Corin Endersby. Congratulations. our loser Todd Geyer thanks for playing our game you played a great game oh. you'll be taking home a total of eleven $1 hundred dollars four hundred from the day eleven $1 hundred total in cold hard Hollywood Squares cash and to our winner Corin why you've won twelve hundred dollars today in cold hard Hollywood Squares cash and the chance to drive away in a beautiful Buick which one will it be the Skyhawk the Skylark Saber? The Les Saber! Okay, now, one of our nine celebrities has the key that will start the Les Saber. Who are you going to choose? Show your keys, gang. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Glenn Campbell? Glenn Campbell! Okay, in just a minute, Glenn Campbell and her key in that beautiful Les Saber will be right back. Glenn Campbell as her a key celebrity and Leslie Easterbrook and Howard Stern as her good luck celebrity. Well, this beautiful Le Sabre is at stake. Tell us about it, Howard. Okay, Shadow, the Buick Le Sabre is a contemporary aerodynamic automobile with six-passenger comfort and a vacation-sized trunk. It's the great American family car, Le Sabre, furnished by Buick. Thank you, Howard Stern. It's worth $17,160. Good luck on the count of three. We'll find out. Help me out here. One, two, two. Some of our departing contestants will receive the following delicious La Choy Chow Mein dinners with crispy La Choy Chow Mein noodles for a quick easy welcome departure from the routine. And now Lee has made the French manicure easy with Lee Press on Nails, the French manicure. And cholesterol free Pompeian extra virgin olive oil, extra flavor at no extra cost. Pompeian, the olive oil with something extra. And rinse and back five, five carpet cleaning products in one bottle. Use rinse and back five with a steam carpet cleaning machine, okay? Okay.
tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on The Family Feud. Show until next time. This is Peter Tumarkin on behalf of the Procutty Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye-bye. So anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye-bye. Yeah. We got we five seconds. Oh, no. We have three. Two, one. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> see you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on The Family Feud. Show until next time. This is Peter Tumarkin on behalf of the Procutty Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye-bye. Anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye-bye. Yeah. We got we five seconds. Oh, no. We have three. Two, one. Bye. bye.